Today she joins us live from our newsroom. Sarah. Well, Sophia Scott, as the gun debate rages on, the Savo brothers and Archbald are getting ready for a firearm auction. They have two or three each year and say they're very popular. We sold a broom handle Mauser last year, which okay. is a it's, a, it's a pistol. At Savo Auctioneers and Archbald, they're gearing up for a firearm auction. More than 60 guns, long guns and handguns will go to the highest bidders. The Savos have a federal firearms license. Most of the people that attend gun auctions are um, either, either hunters or collectors and are generally responsible, law-abiding citizens. You know, someone who is up to something nefarious won't come into a place like this. Two or three times a year, the Savos have firearm auctions, which they say are very popular. More than 200 people attended the last one in January. At those auctions, the Savos follow Pennsylvania state law, doing background checks with state police. Those checks are done over the phone and usually take about five minutes. The Savos say Pennsylvania law is very similar to the compromise lawmakers in Washington are considering. Pennsylvania has always done background checks on long guns and handguns, and there's always been exceptions between family members in Pennsylvania. So uh, the current debate on uh, as far as what they're talking about now, we've already been doing it in Pennsylvania. The Savos say the state law is not hard to abide by. What's more, they say many of the people who buy weapons at these auctions don't ever fire them. But they say while they follow the law, do background checks and keep records, there are those out there who do not. What is already on the books is, I think, very effective at stopping pe the people who shouldn't have guns from having them. It uh, just needs to be uh, enforced. Now, the Savos say they do auction off assault rifles, which they say are popular. That auction, by the way, is scheduled for April 20th. Sarah Bonowski, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in the newsroom. All right, thank you, Sarah, for that tonight.